Hey guys, how's it going? So today I thought we would do something different and we'll review the Snug Pack Scorpion 2. I've probably got a good 50 or 60 camps out of this. I've had it for a couple of years now. So um, we'll go through what I like about it, what I dislike about it, and the setup, size, weight, etc. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you guys might be wondering is what are the dimensions? Real world 420 millimeters by 200 by about 200. I will convert that into inches. And also I'll put the weight up onto the screen. Keep in mind I do have a ground sheet in this. So um, with that in mind, let's get the stuff out of the bag. Okay, so that is the contents of the bag. You have your tent bag here. That's the additional ground sheet that I added. It's only small and cheap. You got your poles, your three poles, uh, your pegs, and then your tent. So unfortunately I can't do it outside because it's getting a bit dark, but that's gonna highlight one of the benefits to this tent and that it's freestanding, so I don't need pegs or anything like that. Here is one of the pegs anyway. So what we'll do is we'll just go through putting it together I'll show you how big it is inside and show you in some more detail. So you have three pegs. One is short, the other two are long and they have the bend in it. As you can see, that's normal. That goes towards the front of the tent. And then the short one goes across and holds the whole thing up. And it just goes straight into a wee grommet like that. This one obviously will make it tighter this one here is a bit looser, but if you can see, there's one of the grommets there, they just sit in. So another thing that I forgot to mention is the cover and the inside of the tent connect together and you don't have to take them apart. So you can just dismantle the whole tent, chuck it in your bag, and then the only thing you have to do next time is put the poles in and you're ready to go. So let's start putting it together. Okay guys, so that's the tent set up. I will just mention, I am kind of wrong about the pegs. It is a freestanding tent, I guess, but obviously the vestibule needs pegs, so I've just used some cans to um, hold it out a little bit. Anyways, that's a comparison next to a DR650. It's not an overly big tent, is it? It's quite small actually, and that's gonna be one of the downfalls because you can barely sit down inside this tent and it's just a little bit too short. Um, I'm 1.8, 5 foot 11 ish and I find it just a little bit too short. My head kind of hits the end as well as my feet hitting the bottom. So um, slight issue, it's not a deal breaker. So coming into the tent you can see that the front door is held up here just by rolling it up. A lot of people forget to mention that the fly actually has its own little pocket, which is a bonus. The whole inside of the tent is lined with pockets all the way down to your feet on each side. Now for the vestibule, I've got my helmet here for size comparison. As you can see, it's not the biggest. And it's one of the small complaints that I have about this tent is the fact that I have to kind of climb over everything if I have anything here. Other than that, it's not a big deal, but I kind of wish the exit or the entry was on the side of the tent. Anyways, this is me sitting down. As you can see, I'm touching the top. But you know, you want the tent to be small enough to carry. It's not the lightest tent in the world. So now that we're back out of the tent, I'll just quickly show you. The whole inside of the tent is held on by these. So you just leave them on, dismantle the tent. It's a lot less work. Uh, what else is there at? I think that's about it, guys. Nice basic tent. It does the job, can't complain. So anyways, guys, if I think of anything else to add, I'll add it. 
Other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.